Hello everyone, it's Jeff here, your favorite safari addict, bringing you another Kenya adventure vlog. In today's video, I'm taking you to Jambo Matara Camp, located in the Matara Conservancy in Kenya. This is 20,000 acres of protected wilderness located right next to Olpagetic Conservancy. Because these two conservancies are next door neighbors, you can easily drive from one to the other and experience both areas during your stay. So I don't normally narrate my videos, but I'm going to at the beginning of this vlog because the sound and audio I recorded during our first morning game drive was really winded out. It's really hard to hear us. It was quite loud and you can't really hear me most of the time, so I'm going to try this out. Later in the vlog, it will switch back to diegetic sound and footage. In this vlog, I'm joined by the one, the only, tour guide Mitra. She's a luxury travel advisor who can plan a trip anywhere in the world for you. She's the one who planned this Kenya adventure for us, and I love having her as my travel fairy godmother. This trip was made possible by Beyond the Plain Safari, which took us on a seven day long itinerary that touched four safari parks in the country. They did an excellent job servicing this trip for us, keeping us well informed on the journey and transporting us to these parks safely and comfortably. Starting with our first morning, we woke up bright and early to catch the sunrise, which was beautiful, and then we drove right into Old Pajeta Conservancy. Getting there took less than 10 minutes from camp, and upon entry, we immediately spotted this male lion. Then, not soon after, we noticed the rest of his family following along. This was a very lucky way to start our game drive. The cats were beautiful to watch in this morning light. We decided to have breakfast early because we were super hungry. And this isn't your typical breakfast though. This is a bush picnic breakfast, which is the best way to experience breakfast if you ask me. Take a look at these really cool containers we were given. Each canister contained a different food item. And so when we opened them up and laid it out, it created a whole picnic spread. The food was still hot and delicious. After breakfast, we resumed game drive when we then encountered a herd of 200 plus Cape Buffalo. We were surrounded, so we had to wait for them to clear the road for us. We then spotted a herd of elephants drinking at the watering hole, another beautiful wildlife spectacle to witness. We parked really close and watched them hydrate. Elephants are so stunningly beautiful. I could seriously watch them all day. When the elephants cleared the scene, we then saw this reticulated giraffe stop by for a drink. And fun fact about giraffes, although their necks are long, they aren't long enough to touch the ground, which is why they always have this very awkward stance when they drink water. They are just so funny. Then all of a sudden, boom, rhinos. We spotted eight southern white rhinos hanging out together, and a group of rhinos, by the way, is called a crash. And in this crash, there was a baby rhino, which was really fun to watch. So from there, we headed back to camp and along the way we spotted a black rhino, super cool. And now I'm gonna quit talking and start playing the diegetic videos again. All right, let's do it. All right, we just finished our game drive. It wrapped up at around three o'clock, so we're starting a really late lunch, but better late than ever. Look how beautiful this is. We're in the Jambo Mutara camp here in the Mutara Conservancy. And we also have a view of zebras. We have a view of zebras. There are zebras grazing in front of us at the watering hole. So we're about to have lunch. This is it. This is what I look for. Me and too. the best part is that you can only come to places like this when you travel with travel advisors. Like, I don't know, do you know a good travel advisor? I think I know one, yeah. It's amazing. The service is amazing. It's so beautiful. And now we're going to show you what we ordered for lunch. All right, this is the pumpkin ginger soup. So good. And there's the zebras again. Mitra got this lovely looking starter salad. Mm. And Maya got what I got. How is it? It's delicious. My favorite type of soup is pumpkin. My favorite type of spice is ginger. So when you combine them into one soup, it just makes me emotional. Sweet time. Mmm, this looks so good. This is the Buddha bowl, avocado, black beans, couscous, sweet potato, lentils, chapati. Okay, we are now headed to the tent. This is the only accommodation option you can have in all of Mutara Conservancy. All right, now I'm going to be giving you a quick little tour of our tent here at Jambo Mutara Camp. The entrance. And I have my assistant Maya here. Woo! Look at this giant king-sized bed. There's Mitra. There's Hello. my assistant. She's I'm also my bodyguard. <laughs> you mess with me, you're messing with her. And with my spear too. Yar! <laughs> and guess what I see at the watering hole? A kudu! 
Thank you, Assistant Maya. Welcome. Oh, those are water buck. We haven't seen those yet, or have we? We have. You've seen the water bucks? I did some yoga there earlier. I did it with you too. There's Mitra contenting. So both of us have bug nets. We have a huge one. A huge one. Look how big this one is. It's comfy too, and we also have warm cushions to sleep. Mm-hmm. Woo! And lots of zebra print. Any comments, Mitra? It is absolutely a stunning lodge. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It is so well thought out in detail and taste, in my opinion. <laughs> it's silly how beautiful it is to have this entire valley of conservancy open up in front of you with all water hole and animals are like floating in and out. Mm -hmm. So we saw the zebras in the first turn and now there's... What water buck. Water bucks. The soundtrack is just birds chirping. It's just... Remember, don't mess with him. That's right, don't mess with me. Bathroom time. I know you've been all waiting for this. Uh, bathroom. Bathroom. It's bathroom dance big. party. <laughs> Why aren't you dancing? Yeah, bathroom dance party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitra, hey. dance party. Mitra, dance party. <laughs> okay, let's stay professional, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> we have the toilet and another mirror, another dance party. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> now we have the shower. Do you want to go stand in there so they know how big it is? So Maya here is six feet tall. <laughs> and so this is a huge shower. <laughs> but it's also really nice because it's comfortable, see? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Come on, stand in the bathroom. And, oh, I guess I can't show you the toilet room because it's being occupied. <laughs> Ooh la la, isn't this nice? Papa. Pool time! Oh, hi. oh yeah! <laughs> this is our own watering hole. Hello there! Yes! More yes! So who brought this out while I was in the shower? There's never a dull moment when you travel with tour guide Mitra. Travel by Mitra in this case. Travel by Mitra. It's like exit Italian territory becomes a travel advisor. So why not enjoy a little sunset end of day moment? In style. This beautiful waterhole in the conservancy from our extraordinarily beautifully Canyon Own Lodge. Well, so tell us, Mitra, what you learned. You just met with the owner and general manager mm -hmm. of this place, and it's not just a cool lodge, it's much more than that. It is much more than that. So they, it's, his parents built this lodge, so he's second generation running and operating it. And his wife is into education and youth empowerment. They have a lot of really amazing things going on, and they employ only locals. And they have two other structures as well. They're also very private and very luxury. But what really has me going here is the fact that it's locally owned business. So it's not foreign investment and it's not foreign owned. So mm. when you stay here, you really put your money into local economy and they are the only lodge in the whole conservancy, right? They are. When you travel, and the way that I want to set you up with tour operators or lodges or guides or drivers, as much as possible should go directly into local economy and not you know, companies that are written elsewhere in the country. There's a lot of countries. I mean, even in Italy, we have this problem. We have a lot of actors who run huge companies, but then they don't pay tax in the country they operate and then they don't employ a lot of local talent. So we want to really focus on sustainability. Mm -hmm. Pillar number one. Yeah, pillar number Local one. Local economies. Local economy, pillar number two. And the big one? Conservation. Conservation. So this uh, conservancy, they educate school children. It's thousands of school children are coming for free yearly to mm -hmm. these places so that they can learn about their own local fauna and learn the value of them and why they're important and to protect them. Oh, someone's here. Someone's here? Ooh. Yes? Hold that thought. Well, pardon the interruption. <laughs> we had to have some snacks with our drinks, of course. So, some local peanuts. Some local peanuts. Local source, local peanuts. Mm. But one other thing that's interesting to mention 
is that I think this is probably 13th, 14th lodge I've stayed in, in the last three weeks, which is wild. And there's only, I think, three of them where I've actually seen Kenyan people staying at the lodges. And this, well, this being one of them. And joined me and he became the <laughs> local immersion because Jeff was having the out of Africa porn experience. <laughs> I'm getting the full experience here, you guys. Know what I, mean. I really love seeing uh, that these resorts are accessible and popular with the the local. Mm -hmm. So travel with a plan. Travel with a plan. We're just kind of encouraging you to think about this before you plan your Kenya dream with experience me. with her, possibly us. Actually, yeah, yeah, us truly. I mean, this is my safari expert, but definitely. I want to be your safari expert. You are my safari expert. Yay. Okay, so we got a little sidetrack there. Let's uh, put a pin in that and come back to this topic next time. All right, let's talk about um, our champagne. We are right now sitting on a balcony in Mutara Conservancy in Kenya, sipping on sparkles from South Africa. <laughs> One has to be for a second. Moment. What's going on? <gasps> so it's June, it's June 6, 2022. I am on my fifth month of this crazy wild journey that we're on. In turn for me in 2018, 2019, you were supposed to come back in 2020, and yep. we had already pitched the idea in 2019 that we were going to abandon photos on social media and we were going to go full in on Buy video. Photos. So video. we were apparently pioneers, but then the pandemic ended that thought. And then you came to Rome basically November last year, 2021. Yeah. Supposed to be two weeks, and then it became almost a month. And I, almost two months? Almost two months. Good morning, we're having bush breakfast. I found the feather. <laughs> that belongs to a cory bustard. Let's go, start. All set? All set. With the bush. Look at this setup. We got a whole bar. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll start then. <laughs> May I do a Spanish omelet, please? Cheese. Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I look like a ghost, it's because I put on this sunscreen that changed uh, my skin tone completely. I would like pancake and omelette plate, please. Oh, what this do we have low here? And nice table. <laughs> what's this? This is like I don't know. Is this a uh, smoothie? Wow. Someone's getting gluten-free pancakes this morning. And look at this. I mean, look at the choice. One soy, two soy. Comments. It's a great last roll. It has been. An amazing stay. I can't like I don't have super ladders enough to how amazing it is and oh. to sit and drink my Kenyan coffee. So. Mutara Camp mug, Mutara Camp sweatshirt, Mutara Camp, Mutara mm. Camp child. <laughs> this is so yummy. You have to try this. <laughs> you do need to try this. Do I look like a vampire? A little bit. Yeah. Look fun. Breakfast. The gluten free pancake. Well, everyone, that's where I'm going to wrap up this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching this mini adventure. As you can see, the Jambu Mutara camp was spectacular in so many ways. Nietzsche and I raved about this place for weeks after our visit. It's a family-owned brand run by second-generation owners and employs all local people, which we really thought was extra meaningful. Their food was exquisite, their rooms were luxurious, and I mean, look at this pool. It's epic. The bush breakfast before we left was the cherry on top, and everything about this experience was five stars. So if you want to experience this wonderful place and plan your dream safari, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We love to plan and book your trip. I have all the contact details to get you started in the description below. If you want to follow along for more wildlife and safari expeditions all around the world, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more. I appreciate you being here and supporting my content. Thanks so much for watching. Safe travels.